There's a hundred things that I love about ClickFunnels, but there's this one thing that just really irritates the heck out of me, and it's stupid, and it, it and 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 I hate ClickFunnels just because of this. Right? It's a love hate relationship, but there's just this one thing that's just a thorn in my side. You see, before I uh, discovered or before I started really immersing myself into the ClickFunnels world, I used I use Squarespace for my clients, for my own websites, and it's great. It's easy and and it works. Now, when I started learning about ClickFunnels, it's a whole new way of, of really selling your products or services on the internet. And it's 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 really genius. The the psychology behind it and the whole concept of, of uh, sales funnels is, is genius because it 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 just works, right? But that's not that's not what this video is about. This video is about that one thing that I really hate about ClickFunnels. And the thing is, Russell Brunson probably doesn't know anything about this. I don't think so. Because this has something to do with their uh, compliance department, their legal compliance, copyright, uh, IP management, whatever you want to call it. So I have this business called Sanity, and I sell these hand tools uh, and the business name is, uh, the product name is Sanity, right? That's how you, you see right here, Sanity. So I moved uh, my website from Squarespace to ClickFunnels. So I built the funnel. I built the sales funnel. I did my, the whole thing, like the video sales funnel with the order bump and the, the what do you call it, the one-time offer. It's all great. It's there. Now it's time to attach that funnel to my domain which is sanity.us so when i'm configuring it to configuring the domain to click funnels it just won't take it it's like it's a trademark domain or it's a trade there's something ha something has to do with the trademark and i'm like sanity is sanity trademarked so i check the trademark office the u.s patent uh trademark office and there's nothing um and i'm not about to trademark a $20 product. That's just not how I do business. So I've gone through support. I've talked to maybe two or three different people. And ultimately, the answer is really stupid. The reason why they have I can't attach my domain is because Sanity has Nike, like the shoe Nike, right? The brand in there somewhere right so i figured why and they can't they say they claim that they can't do anything about it but i was able to register the domain there's no claims about it uh but for whatever reason they just they just have a filter on their system basically anything that has uh like big brands amazon nike adidas uh whatever it is that's a big brand and if you have that somewhere in your domain name, it's not going to let you attach that domain name to ClickFunnels. I don't know how, if my register allowed me to register the domain name, I don't understand why wouldn't ClickFunnels allow me to add that registered domain name on my funnels. So... I spoke to, 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 again, like two or three people and all of them said, and I even had the ticket escalated to their compliance and legal department. I don't know if I hit the top brass in that level, but what they're telling me is that, oh, there's nothing we can do. It, they make it sound like it's not, it, it, it's not on their control. Well, it is because they're the ones who put the filter to not allow these things. So which is... I just think it's stupid and I don't know how you're going to get sued. I don't know how you, how you can be liable from these big brands. If, cause I even tried adding splanicky doodle do.com and it won't let me because there's a Nike in there somewhere. So you can't have a Nike, the, the word that the letters N I K E in sequence somewhere in your domain name. 
which is really, really stupid. And I hate it because of that. Because everything about ClickFunnels is just smart. It's genius. The psychology, the concept, the, 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 the support when it comes to the funnels, not the compliance. I, I hate to say it. But, and they've, they've really processed I think as of today, over eight billion dollars of sales in the click funnel system. All the while, there's this one stupid policy that that doesn't allow. I don't get it, honestly. I know Russell. It, I doubt that you're gonna be watching this video, but if 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 you're, I guess if you're privileged enough to be a part of the inner circle or the two comma club or the two comma club X and you happen to stumble upon this video, bring this attention to Russell because it's the stupidest thing ever. Honestly, like I, I work in the legal industry and, you know, and in the IP practice as well, I've spoken to at the very least four intellectual property rights attorneys, and they all had the same conclusion. This is stupid. It doesn't help click funnels. It doesn't help Nike or these big brands. It just prevents people from using domains that have a random that so ha that happens to have a random name on on the domain name. It's just dumb. So, um, yeah. So if you're thinking of using ClickFunnels or if you're in the middle of using it and you don't have a domain yet. Make sure you don't have any of the big brands somewhere in your domain. But I've had that domain name for a while now, and this was before ClickFunnels. So I'm not going to change the brand because I already have customers. I already have a list. I already have a viable running business. And to change it now, is, it's just not, not, it's not the smartest thing to do on my part. So Russell... You might want to check your legal department, your compliance department, your risk. Uh, uh, if you have a risk department, because it's just dumb. I mean, talk to attorneys. I'm sure you have a legal department, right, with real attorneys that are, uh, you know, th that pass the bar, right? So, yeah. Now I'm done ranting. I still love ClickFunnels. I had to work around it. The workaround is not ideal. I actually just have to go the bit.ly. I don't want to use the full thread on my ClickFunnels account. It, it, it's just ugly. It's just not cohesive with my branding. So I have to use a bit.ly signing key and point there and then reroute. And hopefully my customers don't even notice it. It's not really a big, it's more, it's really a cosmetic thing, but still it, it's annoying because it's unnecessary. Um, again, talk, talk to your legal attorneys, Russell. And it's, it's, it's annoying. And I rarely get annoyed. Very few things annoy me. Um, and this is just one of them. So I'm sorry. I have to rant. I have to rant. Uh, in front of you guys but it it's also a warning so if you have a domain name if you already have a domain name that you're not willing to change just to use click funnels think about it for a second change it or whatever there's really not a whole lot of work around without affecting your current branding so that's it that's my rant for today uh i really hope russell sees this and if not pl please pass the word if you have access to him i'm not gonna chase him for this uh, but in the event that you see it russell i love you you're i think you're a genius um but yeah this is kind of dumb all right so i guess i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching see you later <coughs>